Yo, what is going on, Guardians? PvE Man here, and today we're talking about taking your boss damage to the next level. I'm talking about the secret to those epic boss one phases, or even the missing ingredient you need to take down that Master King's Fall War Priest challenge. Folks, you need to start using Font of Might in your DPS setup. And this isn't a new mod or anything. I would assume that most folks already know about it and possibly already have it in their loadout. But it is extremely rare that I see folks using Font of Might to its maximum capabilities. In this video, I'd like to break down why folks might incorrectly use this exceptional mod and then discuss the strategies to dramatically increase your boss DPS. There's really three reasons as to why folks are missing the mark while using Font of Might. The first is they might see it primarily as an ad clear mod, which makes sense because it does fit that gameplay loop. Throw a nade, spawn a well, pick up that well, and do more damage against more ads, which completely makes sense. The second reason is they might struggle with the difficult setup required to combine Font of Might with the DPS phase. But we will discuss how to make this much easier in the next section of the video. And lastly, folks might not understand the fact that Font of Might can actually stack with other damage buffs. In D2's PvE sandbox, many weapon buffs cannot be combined together. So for example, you cannot step in a Titan bubble to get weapons of light, and then stack that with the buffs provided from a Well of Radiance. The highest damage buff percentage will always override any other damage buff. But in some cases, you can stack buffs together, like activating Font of Might, while also receiving the damage buff from a Well of Radiance. So let's talk about how to actually set this up the optimal way. The basic rule of thumb is, spawn an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type, which will grant bonus weapon damage of that same elemental type. In this example, I'm using Solar Warlock and Fusion Grenades to spawn Solar Wells thanks to Elemental Ordnance, which in turn will buff both my Summoner and Cataclysmic. Now I mentioned earlier that this can be difficult to set up in the heat of the battle, which is where Elemental Time Dilation comes into play. This mod is kinda confusing at first, but think of it this way. By default, Font of Might lasts 10 seconds, but if you combine Time Dilation with multiple copies of Font, it will increase that base timer. In this video, I actually have three Font of Might mods on, which gives me a 20 second damage boost when picking up a Solar Well. This makes combining Font of Might with other damage buffs much easier, because you can take your time spawning a Well, and then focus on entering the DPS phase with plenty of damage buff time to spare. And keep in mind, this can be a team synergy, so it helps to have multiple teammates also spawning Elemental Wells. This also works for any weapon type as long as you match the wells to your subclass and weapon affinity, so this concept can work in future metas as well. In this example, I'm also combining the buffs with bait and switch to get even more damage. My friends, that will conclude our video for today, so don't forget to not only use Font of Might for ad clear, but also for boss damage. There are so many different combinations and builds that you can use to leverage Font of Might. So if you have a loadout you would like to share, slap it down in the comments below so I can give it a shot. If this video will help increase your damage, please help me out with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Cosmodrome.